What's going on, people? Seth here. Um, I'm starting to get back into swords, guys, so beware. Who knows what kind of stupid shit I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, but me and my buddy Scott King have been talking about um, Skaz and Ito and shit, and uh, I'm probably going to be taking a sword off his hands, and uh, when he described it to me, he uh, mentioned that he had lacquered the the, the Ito on the sky here. And uh, I was like, you know what? I kind of like that because my CRKT issue is uh, got lacquered um, wrapping on the on the uh, hilt, the handle, whatever. So um, I have researched this and I looked around. And I probably wasn't either spelling the word right or I just didn't search for the right whatever. But I couldn't find any tutorials showing how to do this. So. Uh, I kind of asked him in detail, like, Scott, what, you know, what do you do exactly? So he said any clear coat uh, lacquer that, you know, doesn't have a color on it, obviously, that is, uh, it is smooth, let's see, this one says ultra smooth, so they won't be sticky to your hands. Now, this is still kind of damp because I did just get done about 20 minutes ago, but uh, already you can feel that rough texture, that, that, that extra grip on it. And so basically, it's not much rocket science to this. Um, you want to get some nitrile gloves, nitrile, however the hell you pronounce it, to wear. Because what Scott does is he. Get out of my shoes! Every damn time. Yeah, anyway, he suggests once you spray it, you put the gloves on and you. Um, get out of my. You know, you kind of. Like you're getting ready to swing a baseball bat, you you wrap your hands around it and you squeeze back and forth, rubbing it into the into the uh, the, the, the yeah the material, the cotton, uh, silk, whatever the hell you got, um, and so it absorbs into it, and it kind of makes it like seal itself to the um, the samigawa here. Now this is a you know a first test run. I'm doing this. I wasn't gonna do it on my HSTS yet. Um, I didn't want to fuck it up, you know. So I practiced on the cheapest, you know, most out of shape sword I got. This is my first Yuki, and it still got a bend in it. It came bent, so I decided to just, you know, test it out. Now, uh, Munitoshi makes great swords. Don't get, you know, don't get me wrong, but their Itos are really slippery, and that's one of the things I noticed. So uh, basically, what I did. I covered off this so I didn't get anything, you know, going this away. And I just sprayed it like I'm spray painting a chair or something. Once I had it um, completely covered, I wrapped my hands around it and just, you know, squeezed like this all the way down to make sure it absorbed evenly. And now I'm just waiting for it to dry. That's it. But the grip's already there. It did not uh, change any color or anything like that still a little dark from where I sprayed it because it's still damp a little bit, but, you know, good to go. So I hope this helps anybody that wants a better, a better grip on their, uh, their Ito. Uh, do what I did, you know, practice on a sword you don't really care much about, maybe a Musashi or, a, you know, a wall hanger or something like that. And uh, I kind of messed up my little cheapo table here. I didn't put a plastic bag under here, so when I sprayed it, it kind of lacquered the table. Oh well. Anyway, this is what I used though. Uh, this is Rust Oleum uh, Specialty Lacquer. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And there's the UPC for those of you who want to, you know, research it and buy it. It was like $4 at Walmart. Uh, stinks the whole, the high holy heaven, so, but. You know, have a fan near you or do it outside. I'm in an apartment, so I really don't have a whole lot of options. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, it'll make the it'll make the sword, the Ito, feel rougher, but it won't look much different. You know, especially when you're out there cutting. Get out of the door. Get out of my shoes. Go shoe. But um, anyway, when you're out there cutting through water bottles, your hands are gonna get wet. So. So that's one of the main reasons I bought that Ryan sword is because of the how rough the uh, the Ito was. So you know, if you want to do a project, have something to do with you know with your swords, 
you want better grip, go grab you some, you know, some clear. You can tell by the top, obviously, that it's clear. Don't don't spray any colored on there. You want clear. Make sure it's, it says it mentions the word smooth, or it might be sticky. That's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, I will drag my sorry ass out to my parents' house in Byron tomorrow and uh, do some cutting. Uh, Y'all know what I y'all y'all know what's about I'm about to say. <laughs> Peace and say my name. We'll see you later. It's been a long fucking week. I'm tired. I'm gonna go watch some TV. Y'all have a good one. See you.